it's time for evolution you're welcome to the Ghana art family and so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to change the the line work of your digital uh, art so i'm going to show you guys how to change the color of that so yeah that's coming up soon right now peace out This, usually, you know, traditional artists would rather would change their line work color to either uh, a light blue or a blue or a uh, or a reddish or a orange color. So blues are for the cold colors, and the, the reddish and the oranges are for the warm colors. You know, and if so, you want to if if you want to change that, this is how you're going to go about doing so. And so. What you want to do is come down here to this adjustment layer. Now the adjustment layer looks like a yin yang symbol and it's also non-destructive. So you can also come back and change it later on. So what I'm going to do is select the solid color. And so I'm going to select a, uh, a red. Okay. I'm going to select a red. All right. And now what I'm going to do is go into my blending modes, which is right here. Look at it right here. You know, I'm going to change it from normal to lighten or screen. You can either do, do one of those, you know, a uh, light. Uh, the screen is going to uh, more so lighten the original color that you have. But, you know, I'm going to go with lighten, which is like the original uh, swatch that I selected. So lighten. And when you go into lighten, you're going to see this uh, this outline here. And it's outlined as red. And let's say you want to change it. You know, the fact that it's in a, it's a adjustment layer, you can always go back, you know, click that color palette here, and you can change it to uh, blue if you wanted to. You know, you can change it to purple if you're if you're into that. You know, you can change it to a lot of different things, right? So what I'm gonna do next is make the background black and the line work uh, a light color if you're going for that effect. So what I'm gonna do is make this uh, this line art layer invisible so I can use my paint bucket tool. I'm going to select the black and just make it dark. Oh, first I have to select the layer. Now I'm gonna make it dark. Okay, now it's dark. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, review my uh, my ink layer and now I'm going to uh, change the uh, the adjustment layer to a wider color and now I'm going to use the same method blending mode so so since you did it for that now you're going to do the opposite or you can try out different uh, different uh, blending modes you know so if you go to dark and multiply you can kind of see it but it's very vague so you can't really see much of it so you would want something that's kind of uh, it kind of shows so you can like scroll down to see which one shows so you can go to color dodge you know and sc scroll down even more i know hard mixes shows the color the, the uh, color soft light soft light is like a balance not too not too much white not too much black so it's kind of like a balance so I, I can go for that if, you, if you're into that or you can go for like a, a pure white outline and so i just changed the the uh the blending mode you know and so that's the video thank you guys for watching this is how you change your line work if you're going for you know digital or you're going for some uh, cool uh effect and uh yeah uh feel free to like comment subscribe and peace